second Western Conference Round 2 matchup here. We have the San Jose Sharks against the Colorado Avalanche. Both eight seeds from the West and the East are in Round 2. Colorado and Columbus, we are all amazed that they got past the first seeds. But here we are. San Jose Sharks. What a Game 7 they had. I thought Vegas was going to be here. I truly thought that. But the Sharks scored four goals on a five-minute major power play. And then they won in overtime. And now they are here. The Sharks defeated the Golden Knights in a crazy seven-game series. The Avs defeated the first seed Flames in five games. And then they've had a one-week rest. Sharks have a minus two goal differential. Yes. Yet they are here in the second round. The Avs have a plus six goals, a goal differential. And that does mean something. It means that the defense seems a little bit better for the Avs. The Flames are no slouch. They can score. And yet the Avs were able to stifle that offense. For the Sharks, Carlson has nine points. Hurdle and Couture each have six goals in seven games with eight points. Kevin LeBanc had a four-point night last night against Vegas in game seven. He's up to five points. Pavelski might be injured. That was where the five-minute major was called. He might be injured. I don't know he's going to be here for game one. He has four points. Looked like it was a pretty serious injury to his head, but he might be back for game one. The Avs points leaders have Rantanen with five goals and four assists through nine points. McKinnon has eight points. Tyson Berry has five assists. Wilson and Nieto each have four points. Goal tending is where the Sharks have struggled, struggled all year. And certainly did not really improve in round one. Yet they are here. Martin Jones. He had 20 goals in his six starts. 3.2 goals in his average. 904 save percentage. To be fair to him. Game 6 basically was all because of Martin Jones, 58 out of 59. But the previous 3 game, no, no, the previous, the game 2, game 3, and game 4 is where he definitely struggled. I believe Dell played game 5, or was it game 4? Aaron Dell got one start in there. I think he was the only backup who played for all 16 teams. Interesting storyline. Can Martin Jones sustain his play over his last two games? He has played pretty well in games 6 and 7. We'll see if he can carry that over to this series right here. Colorado, Grubauer, he remained pretty consistent. He allowed just 10 goals in... Is five stars so with a 1.9 goals against average and a 939 save percentage. Special teams, I think they are pretty similar. They're pretty close. The Sharks power play, 23.5%. Penalty kill, 72.4%. The Avs, 20% power play, 77.3% penalty kill. It is worth noting that the Sharks did win the season series 3-0. They played on April the 6th. That was uh, not that long ago, and they won 5-2. That was the most recent meeting between these two teams. Now, if the Sharks don't score, they are done. 
If the apps could stifle the flames to only 11 goals, they could very well do that to the Sharks. If, if the Sharks can't score, they will be blown out. Sharks rely heavily on their offense to try to save their goaltender. Goaltending, if Martin Jones can't keep his consistent, consistency levels high, the Avs will trample the Sharks. Because Grubauer is so good that it is very well possible that the Sharks aren't going to score that many goals. If the Sharks don't score goals, they will allow goals. And the Avs certainly can score. 17 goals in 5 games. That's 3.4 goals for every game. So, that's dangerous. The Sharks have a pretty similar goals for every game. But if Grubauer can shut the door, the Sharks aren't going to win this series. Okay, so... My prediction now is that the Avs will win this series in five games. Yes, a very bold prediction indeed. But I don't see how the Avs would lose to the Sharks. If it was Vegas in this position, I would still say Avs, but in six games. Because I believe the Avs have the defense they need to stop the Sharks. That's something pretty definite, in my opinion. But we'll see what happens, and after game one, we'll probably see how this series will go. Game one is on Friday, the 26th, at 7 p.m. Pacific Time, in San Jose. See you guys then. I'll talk to you guys later. See you later.